the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. Between February 11 and July 16, 1858, the Virgin Mary appeared to 14-year-old Bernadette Subiru, eaten times in this small town at the foot of the southern French Pyrenees. Mary revealed herself as Immaculate Conception through a set of private revelations. On that beautiful day, Bernadette, her sister Toinette, and friend Jean searched for wood on the meadows that led towards the place where the canal rejoins the river Gave. This is an area where driftwood sometimes washes ashore and they can get firewood. Toinette and John went through the icy water and shrieked while Bernadette sat on a rock near the grotto of Masadiel to take her shoes and stockings off to wade through the water. Suddenly, the noise of rustling bushes caught her attention. Bernadette suddenly heard a gust of wind. From the darkness of the alcove came a dazzling light and a white figure. Looking up, she saw a beautiful young lady looking at her with a smile. This was the first apparition, but the lady did speak or identify herself. Bernadette knelt and began to pray the rosary. At the end of the fifth decade, the beautiful lady smiled and disappeared. When Bernadette returned on February 18th, the lady began her message telling her, I do not promise to make you happy in this life, but in the next. She also asked for penance and prayer for the conversion of sinners. There were numerous apparitions thereafter, but the ninth apparition was a culmination of it all. On February 25, she instructed Bernadette to kneel behind the grotto, kiss the dirty ground, and eat some bitter grass. Bernadette then dug into the ground near the grotto and drank water, then washed herself there. She scratched the floor several times, trying to drink the muddy water, and then smeared the mud on her face. At first, there was only a little bit of muddy water for Bernadette to drink, but it gradually turned into clear running water. The miraculous spring was finally revealed and has been flowing ever since, providing water for the bodies of some and the spiritual healing of millions to this day. Many cures were certified miracles lacking any medical explanations. The crowd grew extremely large during the 13th apparition on March 25th on the Feast of the Annunciation. The lady said to her when she saw her again, go and tell the priests that the people should come here and build a chapel. And Bernadette replied she will tell Father Piramal, the parish priest of Lourdes. Bernadette asked a number of times who she was. Then the lady replied, she said, I am the Immaculate Conception. With these words, the Virgin confirmed the words of Pope Pius IX, who had defined this dogma just four years earlier on December 8, 1854. Bernadette, who had never heard this name before, did not understand the meaning of this sentence but walked up to the priest and told him the lady's name. He knew at once that it was the Virgin, and Lord Lawrence, Bishop of Tarvis, confirmed it. Bernadette saw the Virgin Mary two more times in 1858, on Wednesday after Easter, and on the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel in 1862. The local bishop declared the apparitions worthy of belief. 
St. Bernadette left Lourdes in 1866 to join a religious order in central France, where she died after several years of illness in 1879. By the time of her death, the basilica had been built and consecrated at the apparition site under the leadership of Father Piramal. The Immaculate Conception, as a church teaches, is Mary conceived without original sin, thanks to the merits of the cross of Christ.